You know you can eat plants and be healthy and enjoy what you're eating because I've learned that from Susanna Dickman and she's <laughs> back with us today here at King's. And I, I have this wonderful chocolate, <laughs> the aroma of chocolate coming up to my nostrils. So what are we making? You do. We are making a tofu chocolate pudding. Okay. Tofu. Yes. We, our main ingredient for this pudding is tofu. And this may be a different package of tofu that most people have seen. This is called Mori New Silken Tofu. So it comes in a box and it is shelf stable. You won't find this in the refrigerator okay. section. You'll That's find good. it on the shelf in your by your Asian food section. And this is a silken tofu, so I use it to make things like pudding or salad dressing, sour cream, you know, things like that when you want something that's creamy. Silken. Well, you know, I think exactly. you, you know over the years you've used this so often. Mm -hmm. And I think for people who aren't used to, accustomed to using tofu, once you do it, you right. go, I get it. But right. you just have to open that box right. and give it a try. Exactly. And you don't even have to drain it either. You know, it has a little bit of water, but we're going to um, just keep that. We don't want it to be dry. But that's pretty much how it looks. And now... I have uh, melted with a little bit of oat milk. You could use soy milk or almond milk, but some chocolate chips. And I wanted to show everyone those chocolate chips because I love that brand because they are not sweetened with sugar. They are sweetened with dates. And Amazing. dates, we know, have fiber. Um, dates, if you have diabetes, they don't raise your blood sugar. So... Go ahead, while you're, while yeah, no, go ahead and taste it. Yeah, no, go ahead and taste it. Great. Yeah. The you texture's wouldn't know. a little different. Well, right, right, it is a little different. It's. I think it's a little bit harder, but if you let it sit in your mouth, it would melt, and it would, um, I think, you know, you really don't notice the difference. Really good it really dark is, um, and it's dark chocolate, which yes, I it love, is. too. Okay, so I, as I said, I mixed up some oat milk. Now I have some maple syrup just to add a little bit more sweetener. And, and if you want, I have a half teaspoon here. If you want to put in a half teaspoon of vanilla. All righty, I can do that. I'll try not to melt this splash it all. <laughs> now you could also put some, a dash of cinnamon in here, you know, anything else that you will like. So let me go ahead. I'm going to let you hold that oh, one. Oh, can I lick it? You, uh, sure, you go ahead and lick it if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and put this on, and we're going to let it process. And what are you looking for? We're looking for, first of all, you can see the tofu pieces there. Yes. We're looking for the tofu to become incorporated. And we just want it to have that pudding texture. We want the it to be smooth. pleasure of pudding, yes. Right. So while we're letting that process, I went ahead... Um, I had some frozen strawberries in my freezer because I don't think that the um, the fresh ones looked very good in the store. But I'm going to head Look and stop that. this. Can you see? I still have a little bit of tofu, but I'm going to go ahead and stop it because of the time. And I'm going to put some in here mm -hmm. and top it with some more strawberries. Let me get you a spoon. And let you try this. I love the look of it. I mean, it, it yeah. looks like... It looks like pudding. It does. Well, because it, it is. is pudding. It is pudding. Exactly. Rich chocolate. I Great. mean, really rich chocolate. Yes. These, the dark um, chips really add that depth of flavor, I think. Mmm. This is a winner. Good. As awesome. always. Thank you. We'll be back. More Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.